Welcome to Learn Computer Science Online.com, and in this video, we are going to discuss what is a control unit. Let us first start with a brief introduction to the control unit. The control unit, abbreviated as CU, and it is an internal component of the microprocessor architecture. The control unit generates the necessary control signals, first, to execute the program instructions, and second, to control the various operations performed by the processor. The control unit performs two important functions. First, it decodes the program instructions so that the processor can operate on the data. Second, the control unit also controls the processing speed of the processor and the various operations performed by the processor. However, in order to understand what is control unit and its functions in computer architecture, we need to first study how the microprocessor works. The microprocessor is said to be the brain of the computer system. It is the processor that provides the processing power to the computer. In computer architecture, the microprocessor is responsible to perform two main functions. The program execution is the first function of the CPU and controlling the operations of the computer system is the second important function of the CPU in order to execute the program instructions, the CPU has to repetitively perform the instruction cycle. The instruction cycle is the basic operation of the CPU. Each instruction cycle consists of four independent CPU operations, which includes the fetch operation, decode operation, and the execute operation. The control unit plays an important role in the execution of the instruction cycle. The control unit handles the decode operation of the instruction cycle. The control unit is also responsible to regulate the speed of the instruction cycle by regulating the clock speed. The processor also performs all the arithmetic calculations and the logical operations necessary to execute the program instructions. The control unit is a part of the microprocessor and it is responsible handle all the control operations performed by the processor. The control unit controls the operations of the various hardware components by generating the control signals. These control signals are transmitted to the hardware components along the network of control buses. The control bus is a wired connection between the processor and the hardware component which carry the control signals. Let us now discuss other important components of the CPU. The processor internally consists of three main functional units. The three CPU functional units are, first, the control unit, second, the arithmetic and logic unit, and third, the memory unit. So, till now, we have studied what is control unit and the two important functions of the processor. Let us now understand how control unit works and controls the various operations performed by the computer. One of the main functions of the control unit is to control and direct the various operations performed by the central processing unit, CPU. The control unit controls the operations of the various hardware components by generating and transmitting the necessary control signals, which directs the operations of the various hardware components connected to the system. These control signals are essential part of the computer architecture to synchronize the operations of the various hardware components and external peripheral devices connected to the system. All right, so we are now clear on how control unit works. Let us now discuss four important internal components of the control unit. The control unit has four important components. First, the timing unit. Second, the program counter. Third, the instruction register. And, the instruction decoder is the fourth component of the control unit. Let us now briefly discuss the functions of the each component of the control unit. In this example, we will study the Intel 8085 microprocessor architecture to understand the various components of the control unit. Let us start with the timing unit, which is first component of the control unit. The central processing unit is driven by a stream of clock signals. These clock signals are generated by the timing unit of the control unit. The timing unit internally consists of a quartz oscillating crystal that generates the analog signals. 
However, the computer is a digital machine, and it needs digitals, that can be represented, with the binary code. The analog signals, generated by the quartz oscillating crystal, are converted into digital signals, by an analog to digital converter. The timing unit controls, the processing speed of the processor by controlling the clock speed, which effectively controls, the speed of the machine cycle. The second internal component of the control unit is called, the program counter. The program counter register, always holds the address of the next instruction, that is to be fetched from the memory. The CPU initiates the program execution, by placing the address of the first instruction, into the program counter register, to be fetched from the main memory, RAM. The program counter register is automatically incremented, each time the current instruction is fetched. And therefore, the program counter always contains the address of the next instruction, that is to be fetched, from the main memory. The third internal component of the control unit is called, the instruction register. In computer architecture, the instruction register IR, is also alternately referred to as current instruction register CIR. The instruction register, is a part of the control unit. The instruction register, actually holds the current instruction, that is being decoded, and executed by the processor. During the program execution, the instruction register is used to store the instruction fetched from the memory. The instruction format contains, group of bits, that defines the layout of the instruction. The CPU decodes the operation code, called as opcode, from instruction format. The processor then executes the desired operation, as per the instruction set architecture ISA. The fourth internal component of the control unit is called, the instruction decoder. The control unit internally consists of, instruction decoder circuit, that decodes the machine instruction format. The main function of the instruction decoder unit, is to translate the operation code part of the machine instruction format into signals, that directs the ALU. The control unit, after the decode operation, generates the control signals, for the arithmetic and logic unit, and directs the ALU, to perform the desired operation. The ALU, then operates on the data, as per the operation code, and the instruction set architecture, ISA, supported by the processor. Alright, so, that brings to the end of this tutorial on, what is control unit in, computer organization and architecture. In this tutorial, we have discussed in detail, some important fundamental concepts, related to the control unit, and how it works. Please visit our website, learncomputersciencesonline.com, for detailed article on, control unit. If you have liked this video, then, please give us a thumbs up. And, consider, subscribing, to this channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon, with another interesting computer science tutorial. Thank you.